Nauco, what a dream. Guys, uh, welcome today to today's live stream. My tripod full on broke. Um, this like plastic portion just completely broke off. So my phone is just leaning on the counter for now. Uh, Aaron is gonna cook, I think. And as soon as I figure out what's going on with this tripod and seeing if we can have an alternative method going here, I'll try to uh, do something with these very gnarly sweet potatoes that um, I got from a dollar bag. I got like four sweet potatoes in a dollar bag, but they've just been hanging around for way too long. And I also have a onion that has sprouted. So um, that's my plan for tonight is to process those, but I'm also just going to try to fix the tripod. Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to succeed. Aaron, do you want to cook? Yes, I was feeding Fred, but I uh, will cook soon. Ah, uh, yes, gets... Fred is eating. Yeah. Wow. Life is difficult without a tripod, yo. There, that's Fred. Fred is eating. You can just hold the camera and film it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll leave you here for now, so you can at least see Aaron, and uh, you can see me try to work something out with my broken thingy. What the problem is I can't even unscrew this piece because part of the plastic on this broke off in there, so I can't even detach this anymore, um, which is a bummer because this huge extending tripod mechanism is like made of metal and it's actually quite nice and it's just this cheap plastic part that broke off so yeah i don't really know what i'm going to do it was almost like it was dumb of them to make the most important part of the tripod out of cheap correct plastic yes it's almost like it should so have been I have there. another tripod thingy that I'm trying to like Frankenstein together and I'm trying to see if I could possibly detach one part to mix up with another part I don't know guys I'm just trying things at this point I really don't want to throw shit away especially when it's like usable but but that's not usable I, I guess it's not state. usable anymore it just really sucks um, I don't use this tripod for Delish. I had another tripod for Delish, but to be honest, this one was much better because it allowed me to move the camera about, and it was way more flexible in terms of angles because I could just pull on all these jointed <sighs> vert vertices. I don't even know what you call these. Um, levers, I don't know, whatever they are. Um... And it would allow me to like pull you closer to the food and it would allow me to shift angles a little bit without having to move the whole tripod. But yeah, I don't know guys. I really don't know. Okay, well let me get my ingredients out. Yep. Um. I'm gonna see if I can buttress a banana behind. This is the basis of the meal tonight. You guys I'm sure have heard of this. second half of the uh, tripod that Delish once ordered for me once upon a time at the very beginning of the pandemic when we were still trying to film on our cell phones and all of that, but I think I'm missing a joint. So I'm like literally trying to Frankenstein together a working tripod out of all these parts, random parts now. Um, and uh, just so y'all know, we don't really spend money buying fake meat like Beyond Sausage. This We just got like some PR coupons they to coupon try it us. out. Um, so we, of course, redeemed the coupons for some edible treats, but uh, I'm not a... Round two. I don't know if you guys follow a food writer called Alicia Kennedy, but she has some great newsletters that go out every Monday for her free subscribers, along with some 
audio interviews with people who work in food somehow, food and drink, on Fridays for her paid uh, subscribers. But she wrote a newsletter about how so-called tech meat, such as Beyond, is uh, not as good as you think it is. But you know what? Probably still, still a little bit better than eating beef at the rate that you know North Americans do. Literally anything is better than eating beef right now. Yeah. So I mean, it's just like pick your evils, really, at this point. But if you want to go vegan, if you want to go plant based, I'm sure there are way better options. Like what? I don't know, man. I don't know. Wow, this is a mess. Is it a joke? It's a joke. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think most people are gonna know this. The Vic Burger video reference. I thought that was a Donald Trump reference. Yeah, but then it was edited by Vic Burger into that uh, like thing where he kept repeating it and you know the zooms and the fades and the cuts. Ah, uh, yes, guys. What a day. What a day. So happy Saturday. Um. Which, uh... There's something floating in your water. True. I don't know what that is. Which burner should I boil the pasta on, and which burner should I do the, uh... This is the best burner on. for actually cooking. I mean, for filming. Like, because they'll Listen, be... I don't have any camera angles right now. You're just going to have to cook, and people are just going to have to deal with it. Our, uh, our stream is very sad today, guys. I just don't have a, uh, I don't have a working tripod, so I don't know what to tell you. I also just ripped my, uh, I ripped my leggings today, so I have like a huge crotch hole. Try not to look at it if I turn around, I guess. It's slowly falling apart today. Everything. Everything's falling apart. I'm trying to make sense of it all, but it is not easy right now. I don't, I don't even know what all this is. I don't know why I have these things on here and nothing makes sense. Are you not hungry for it? Okay. Does he need more water? I made it very soupy. June, you can change leggings. Yeah, it's true. Reverse psychology. Facebook got hacked and all personal info stolen. I mean, when Kim. When did that happen? I, I, I don't know. Kim said it just happened. I don't know. It but, just happened. guys, like, literally everything on the internet is up for grabs. People's houses and addresses and phone numbers and relatives. Are you cool with me using this? Can you use that onion, actually? Yes. We found out it's safe to use sprouted onion. Yes, guys. Um, sprouted onion, totally safe to use. And Apparently. We Apparently the uh, onion will just be a little bit soft, but can you help me, please? <laughs> Not, yeah, thank you. My bad, guys, my bad. This is what happens when you don't have a tripod. This is what yeah. happens. Oh, everything's falling over. Can you just, yeah, great, thank you. Oh, yeah, babe. We're gonna that, use bananas. That must have been very loud. <laughs> You, sh you should be looking at my crotch because I ripped my leggings. That's what you should be looking at. That's what I told everyone to not look at, but now everybody's going to look at it because I told them not to look at it. And, uh, Your crotch isn't on screen right now. Reverse psychology is great, guys, for everything. Wow, I really wish this tripod didn't break on me. Everything's hopeless. Truly. I think what I should do is just super glue this back on. Do you think that will work? Super glue solves everything. I super glued a pair of uh, earbuds recently, and that worked. Did you? Yeah. Where's the super glue? Um, in there. Okay, do you remember where you put it? I don't see it anymore. Oh, thank you. Sorry to disrupt your cooking flow. No worries. 
How's everybody doing tonight? What's going on? Duct tape, maybe? Yeah, June, do you have duct tape? It's not gonna hold. It's a plastic piece, guys. Maybe turn Super Chat back on for a new tripod. Guys, uh, I have enough money, money. Yeah, money is not the reason June wouldn't buy a new tripod, trust me. That is the last of the reasons why June wouldn't buy a new tripod. joints are missing from which parts joints wait hold on let me see that wow that's so shitty uh that's I... super glued you should oh. rinse your hands right now Excellent. that's such a shitty construction originally it looks like it they looks like the original construction was just uh they super glued that on i think you're just re-super gluing what was originally super glued I just got back from the hospital, stupid diabetes, and then the chat left. I don't have a laptop here, so I can't read what it was. I'm sorry you have diabetes, but welcome back from the hospital. Glad you're still alive. I'm especially sorry you have diabetes if you live in America, where you have to pay um, your life savings to get insulin. Was to that save all your life. the food that you needed? Yeah, that's 3.7 ounces. Exactly. Because you said between three and a half to four. But you're free to treat him up if you want. I know you like spoiling the boy. Well, I don't want to make him obese. He's not obese yet. If he's starting to look a little chunky, maybe we can just slow down on the treats. I'm sorry you guys can't see Fred. I feel like such a failure, guys. Should have come up with a better solution, but uh, I didn't. There you go. There's Fred. We're now on bananas. You guys are currently perched on top of bananas. Bananas. Literally bananas. And now I have super glue all over my hands. That's where it's supposed to be. Uh, you guys also can't see me chopping the uh, onions and garlic, but rest assured it. It's happening. It looks like chopping onions and garlic would look like if you saw them. So do we... We eat the onion part, or do we eat onion sprouts too? You eat both. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll give it a ch I'll give it a shot. Guys, can you eat onion sprouts? Yes. Is that a thing? I'm gonna I don't let chat tell me. me. I don't believe you. I'm gonna let chat tell me. Tell me if I can eat onion sprouts. Chat disappeared, so no, I won't find out if chat I'm. Chat will come back, but you just have to keep looking at it. Okay. Fred's. Dash is awesome. Does Fred have a mustache? Yeah. Uh, that's what green onion is, isn't it? I thought green onion is scallion. Am I an idiot? Is green onion? They're all related. Yeah, they're probably related. People are saying yes. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Every yeah, I trust. Thanks for not I trust. trusting me. Or... Well, this is the wisdom of the crowds. This is like in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. If you're not sure of the answer, you uh, do the pull the crowd. Okay. Well, still, thanks for not believing me. Yes. Yeah. Why is life so hard? Uh... <sighs> Can you guys uh, write in chat, why is life so hard? Does anybody know? Do you know why life is so hard? Put the answer there in chat. Do another poll. God damn it! Super gluing my hands together and not doing anything else. There's a layer of this onion that's weird though. Oh, very bad layer. Yeah, it's just soft. The internet said it would be. Okay. It's very pungent. It's become super super pungent well whoever recommended rubber bands uh it's not 
secure at all. My phone will probably crack if I put it on. Yeah, goober. It's uh, not a good idea, guys, to do this at all. Um, don't be a hot mess like me. You guys are gonna, gonna suddenly crash down in the middle of the stream. Well, we already did that. Yes, again, again. Again! Y'all ready to crash? Dun 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 dun. Hello, Indonesia. You stay healthy and safe too. Um. Yeah, I just you know, I'm. I made my life motto, my my life uh, purpose a long time ago to be a hot mess for all to see so that people can start feeling less bad about themselves. And, you know, once I made that my destiny, that was my destiny. It's a, it's a great purpose, guys. I love my purpose now. Oh boy. Okay, we got some onion, garlic and onion sprout. And I'm gonna chop up some Beyond Sausage. Ooh, it's very soft. Well, yeah, it's Beyond Sausage. What did you expect? We got a couple of these bad boys here. Uh, June wants to save two for her own devices, so I'll just be cooking two right now. Look, isn't that appetizing? Yum. Look at those beyond boys right there. <laughs> okay. It's honestly just pretty much looks the same as meat, regular meat. Sauce. I have super glue and black things all over my hands, Aaron. How do I want to cut this? I think I'll just do discs. Aaron doesn't care. I care a little bit. I definitely care somewhat. What a mess. What a goddamn mess. Uh, what's, what's the deal with super glue in that every time you use super glue, you like always get it on your hands? There's. Is it that you're just trying so hard to not get it on your hands? You not only do I have super glue, I have like melting black plastic now. Oh, my hands. is it the uh, kind of plastic that actually gets melted by super glue? Probably. Yes, there's a version of plastic that does Guys, that. I am now I part uh, cyborg and part plastic. It's delightful. I'm sure it's not toxic whatsoever. Extremely toxic. I don't, I don't think I should trust my phone on this, to be honest. I think this is a lost cause. I don't know what I was thinking when I thought I could do this live without a tripod on my cell phone. Uh, but here we are, uh, stagnant shots all, all night long. Um, yikes. 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 Yeah, I don't know, man. I just don't know. But, uh... Aaron's, uh, you know, let me show you. Yeah, do you want to get me doing this? I got uh, my onion, garlic, and beyond sliced up, and I'm ready to go into the pan. I'm sure the white balance is just making that look incredibly appetizing. Delightful. What you doing, Fred? Can you tell the people what you're doing? What are you doing? Tell them. How's life? Did you have a good day? Did you do anything? Can you tell them why you didn't stare out the window? Are you sick and tired of being filmed? Are you sick and tired of the paparazzo? Do you want to get this stuff going in the pan, dude? Yes. Not very hot yet. No sizzles.
Don't know if I should do the sausage at the same time as the aromatics, but who cares? I'm extremely tired of holding this bone. Um, like <laughs> yeah, man, tripods. They really do help. Can I set it down now? Yeah. Where's that handy dandy spoon knife thing? This one. That, that may be smelling pretty good already, actually. I'm just going to apologize if you guys fall again. You're just, you're on some really ripe bananas right now. That's where we're at. I so want to make this. It sounds great. It's literally just, I had the coupon for Beyond and I came home and I was like, what can I do with it? So we're making a uh, penne. We're making um, curry sausage penne. I'm going to wash my sweet potatoes now. I think this might actually be a vegan recipe because the golden curry, maybe vegan? Might be. Read, read the Guys, message. I don't know if this is vegan and I'm too lazy to, leave, to read the ingredients. All right, I'll read it later. Okay. Fine. So this might actually be vegan. Can I use your board? Yes. You want the knife? Yeah, can I? Yeah. Guys, this sweet potato is looking really rough. I normally don't peel my sweet potato, but uh, I will tonight because... Can you tap to focus on each? No, nope, you can't. Okay. Well, you guys just saw my uh, my big mitts right there attempting to tap to focus. I guess it's supposed to continually autofocus. Yeah. Them. Got some nice juices already. I assume that's all from the Beyond. Wow, that is a really bad sweet potato. Do not ever wait until your sweet potato looks like this. You guys are seeing some real disaster cooking tonight. Although mine's gonna, mine's, yours, yours is fine. It's mine, just me. mine's gonna taste great. It's just my life is a disaster. Your life is fine. I do have a good life. You do have a great life. Are you making sure that Fred is in frame still? If you move away, gotta tilt it down a little bit. There he is. There's, okay, they very on the edge of the frame. If I adjust it anymore, that phone is falling right to the floor. Right to the floor. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with some of, uh, with a curry, curry cube or two. Curry cube. Look at you being a food person, Aaron. Food people always have very vague instructions like a curry cube or two, especially if ingredients they can't pronounce like curry cube. Nice knife. I know. Very sharp. made by the finest swordsmiths in Japan. Is it? Sure. You, you know that? Yes. I think I'll just do one cube tonight because there's probably a lot of extra flavor already. my extra hot golden curry in there. Just gonna let that boy melt over over the sausage a little bit and I'll add some water once it started melting uh, so I can make a nice sauce for la pasta. Got some nice fond on the pan too. All pretty good flavor. Honestly this Beyond stuff performs uh, kind of pretty much exactly like you would expect regular meat to perform, so, but I guess that's the point. I did pretty well with it. Got the fond and the curry roux type object forming. 
I have no idea if that's Rue or Rue related, but I'm not the professional chef here, June is, so I'm going to say wrong things. I mean, Rue is things. basically just butter and flour together. And well, that's neither of these things, but it's, yeah, no, it's Rue-like. No, Japanese curry is a Rue. Oh, okay. Guys, I have to trim away all the bad spots. <gasps> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> here, I'll put that there. You can show the people from there. Thank you. Uh, bad spots have been trimmed. I yielded a lot of compost. Um, I'm going to move on to the second one now. Can you get the water going, Andrew? Can't. We need a tripod. I know. This is pretty much, I think, every time you use those Japanese curry blocks, you add water because it has thickeners in it. I don't know what the thickener is, but you'll see as I stir this, it'll start thickening up pretty nicely. Is it, if it's gelatin, then that, I guess, would be what doesn't make it vegan, but I honestly don't know what the thickeners are. Probably a lot of cornstarch. You see? Am I making you nice guys dizzy thick? yet with the constant moving camera angle? That's my point. I want to make you really dizzy tonight, guys. You're really torturing them with the crashing noise, the, the constantly moving angle. It's a, it's a belated April Fool's joke for y'all, okay? And this is going to cook down a lot, so I'm going to add more, the, more than I normally would. We don't care. We just care about Fred. Yes. Fred, tell the people what you're thinking right now. Do you like being in the kitchen? How do you feel? Did you have a good Saturday? Are you ready to be bathed tomorrow again? Are you ready to twist a couple of ankles trying to scramble out of the shower? Are you so ready to smell like poopy eggs? So ready. Pasta's in. I didn't salt the pasta water because this is a very salty curry sauce that's going to be draped all over it. All right, y'all. Back to my sweet potato shenanigans. Because the spots are so bad, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the knife instead of the peeler because as you can see, a lot has gone bad. Um, it's just been really busy. I haven't had time to use up my extra ingredients. I feel really bad about it, but it was already in the discount bin, so shouldn't feel too bad about it, I guess. I am now in the opening the cabinet and randomly picking spices out of their stage. What are you uh, adding? Tell the good people. Uh, I'm adding more of what you saw yesterday, the safari smoke seasoning, just because even though I get the extra hot golden curry, it's obviously not spicy enough for me. Uh, so I pretty much always just, you know, pick whatever uh, chilies I can find in uh, June's cabinet. And she has many forms and varietals. And uh, then I'll, you know, see what other spices she got in there. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen June's spice cabinet already, which is very impressive. It's got everything you could dream of. Does it have everything you can dream it's of? It's got three varieties of cinnamon. No. Well, yes, because I need it for work. Yeah. Not one, not two, but three cinnamon But varieties. three. This this curry honestly smells amazing. Already. Guys, tell like, me. Not even joking. Tell me your favorite recipes for cinnamon. Give me some savory stuff too. Some unexpected, some non North American varieties of cinnamon spice recipes. I need it for work. Thank you so much. I'm not going to pay you, but I will thank you for sharing your wealth of knowledge concerning food and all things delicious. Dried shallots. Because why not? Hashtag why not. 
the mm -hmm. story of our lives. Overnight oats with apple and allspice in curry. That actually sounds really fun. Oats and oats, curry? apple, allspice, and curry. Yeah. That's a like flake. That's a sweet and savory bomb, and I love the sound of that. I have no idea how it'll taste, but I'm curious. Do you guys think I'm a shitty person if I take? Yes. <laughs> Do you guys think I'm a shitty person if I ask viewers for recommendations and then I just use their ideas and then I don't end up crediting them? That's you, probably plagiarism, right? Were you saving this to crunch as a topping on things or can I eat it? You can eat it. Okay. Having a snack while I cook? I do, I do feel like that's kind of plagiarism, no? Y'all are just being nice. It's hard to cook hungry. Well, if it obviously it's going to be published if I'm using it for my work on Delish, so. This is the crumbly crunchy bits from June's. Um, what was that recipe called? The blood orange mini cakes. Blood orange cupcakes, yeah. Still crunchy. Nice. Joining late, what's happening? Well, uh, what's happening is, uh, let me recap. If you, you want me to recap or you do? Our tripod is broken. We slammed my phone and killed everyone's ears. Mm -hmm. Aaron is making some pasta with a uh, sprouted onion, Japanese curry cubes, and some Beyond sausage, and a 66 cent box of penne rigate that he found at Stop and Shop today, and I'm slicing up really disastrously dried and moldy sweet potatoes, and I'm probably going to bake them into chips, I'm thinking. That's all. Fred is eating, and, uh, sorry, Fred ate, and Fred is sitting on his throne now, but I can't show you because I don't have a tripod, so I can't angle everything. So you are limited to one view until this camera inevitably falls and or I choose to move you with my thumb in the camera's way so that you see nothing but skin for about five seconds. It's great. It's great. I'm not a hot mess at all. I think you're doing great, June. Thank you. And yes, everybody has offered to give me money to buy me a new tripod, but I'm just like, dang it. I don't want more fucking plastic in my life. June could be a billionaire and she wouldn't buy a new tripod. <sighs> nice. Um, I'm going to... Uh, Time for a different camera angle. I'm going to give it another few seconds, and then I'm going to drain most of the water and pour the Woo! curry on top. If you want to get any of that action. What are we getting? Pasta's almost done, so I'm going to drain most of the water. Okay. Just let me know when you're on the top. move. Yeah. I guess if I wanted sweet potato chips, I'm going to have to turn on the oven, huh? Probably. Guys, um, King, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I storied it. King Author Flowers sent me a huge gift package with, like, flowers and a um, sourdough bread basket like a benetton no i don't want to okay, i mean we already we were already a tripod down but and they gave me a beautiful brass and um was it oak some sort of really beautiful dark wood handled bread lawn and it's that razor thing that helps you score your bread loaf perfectly so that it has the nicest oven spring and the nicest patterns and How i'm going to spell be, that word spell like lame oh. l-a-m-e and I'm going to be auctioning. Ooh, let me let me get I'm you. Just, I'm just pouring water. This isn't the exciting part. And I will be auctioning off that bread proofing basket as well as the lawn on my Instagram sometime. Leave a bit in there. Maybe tomorrow I'll put it up when I have my shit together a little bit more. Um, 
and they also gave me a new revised edition of their cookbook. Their, woo, Sorry. Baker's Companion Cookbook. So I'll be auctioning off that off too. And I will be targeting those proceeds to Hunger Free America, which is a New York-based organization um, fighting to kind of equalize the uh, food insecurity in America through both programs and policy change. And they also reached out to me in, in terms of trying to... You're going to use that pan, right? Yes. I just don't know where to put it. I'll put it there. Yeah. Um, they reached out to me about participating in their social media campaign, about raising awareness about the SNAP program, aka formerly known as the Food Stand program. Um, so stay tuned for that. Always love supporting some nice causes, doing nice work. My arm is very tired. Why chop scallions when you can scissor scallions? Scissoring scallions sound really wrong, Aaron. Hey, you made it weird. Um, my Instagram username is thank9stars. Maybe one of the mods can type it out for me because my hands are literally full. Come on over to this side. June, do be left-handed. Aline, I grew some of my scallions in dirt. They do grow much better in dirt, as you can see. But uh, somebody else did say that they are kind of flavorless when you grow them. And I would, I would say yes, they are kind of flavorless. Are these grown, the one I'm chopping now? Or bought. These are bought. Okay. I don't want no flavorless scallions in my food. Uh, I need the olive oil. We're going to smash it with more olive oil because that is the secret to good cooking. Well, it's about ready to serve, I'd say. Wow. Yeah, and simple. I haven't gotten anything done. At all. Do you guys get a lot of the little bugs? Sometimes. From... Okay. Yeah, like little white ones that are almost microscopic. I think I want to make chips, so I'm going to turn my oven on after removing all of my broken plastic tripod parts off of our stove. My Instagram name is hard to spell, so just go to June's and you'll probably see me tagged in half of things. I just turned my oven on to 350 and let's see if I can move you guys over here. crispy chip I just want to roast these and honestly today I don't even I don't even want oil on these you think they'll release without oil release what release from the pan I have no idea bro you're the chef all right I'll brush on a little bit of oil what I'm going to do is just do like two teaspoons of oil I'll use one of my sliced sweet potato I'm just going to spread it 
and coat the entire sheet tray with a thin layer of oil just for a non-stick release. I don't really want the chips to be oily. I find that oil sometimes traps the moisture and when you dry roast chips they turn crispier but also they don't turn golden, they just turn brown because they tend to burn a little bit more. So it's your choice, experiment with it. I'm sure you would like different things than I do. Um, since I'm being very lazy today, I'm just going to pile shit on. I'm going on here with some red pepper nice tasty, everybody's favorite. Red pepper nice tasty. Yeah, Angie, I have Gorilla Glue, but the Gorilla Glue literally dried up inside the bottle, so now it's useless. I can't use the Gorilla Glue anymore. I'm very disappointed and very sad. My life is sad. There we go. That is done if I can get my fingers out of the camera. Uh, and if it'll focus, that is uh, uh, beyond Japanese. You need to come Japanese. here, Aaron. The lighting is better here. Lighting's better here, says June. That is a uh, Beyond Japanese Curry uh, penne with uh, some scallions, some onions, some garlic, and it might be vegan, depending on what's in um, the Japanese curry. Yeah. Do you want the camera back here? Whatever. Just make sure it doesn't fall. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to read off the box now? Yes. Let me take a bite first. People want to know how it tastes. Probably. Do they? Or maybe they don't give a shit, I don't know. Do you give a shit? Here's a bite with some penne. Learn some beyond. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm loving these alternative meats. I love Impossible when I've had it in burgers. I don't know. Actually, I think we have had the Beyond Sausage once before. I forget where. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, I mean, if you have a meat craving and you just want, you know, that meaty richness, that fattiness, that umami, Beyond gives it to you. It sounds like an ad, but I legitimately like it. Like It is an ad, but it's not sponsored. We're yeah. not making money out of it, so we're just suckers. I am, I am personally advertising for eating less meat. And I know I'm a bit of a hypocrite on that because I'm not vegan, but I do go through a lot of methods to try to reduce my meat consumption. Like I talked about on the uh, live stream where I cooked a stew, um, the, not stew, the stock. Like, for example, I'll just use offcuts. I'll use bones. I'll use parts that have normally been thrown away. And, uh, you know, if you just are craving meat flavor, but don't, you know, need, feel like you need to eat meat itself, yeah, this, this is good. You want a bite? Show the camera your bite. There we go. Now we're festive. We got the fairy lights. Okay, I'm gonna go in my oven with a layer of sweet potato, salt, pepper. Would you like to try it, Jim? I get you a Beyond piece without chili on it. Yeah. Do you maybe? have a Beyond piece without chili? Yes. On? You want me to just try the the Beyond? But you can try pasta too if you want to brave the red pepper. Nice, tasty. I've had the Beyond Burger before, and I think the burger does a better job, especially when you char grill it, of tasting like meat. The sausage texture isn't bad, but the flavor right away doesn't taste like pork or anything, so. Yeah, it's not a specific meat flavor, it's just like vague meatiness that it tastes Yeah, like. it's very umami. It's very like slightly msg but uh, doesn't taste like meat to me. Okay. Um, mm, your pasta is delicious, dude. Yeah, I cook, I cook, I cook good pasta. Your pasta is delicious. Um, okay, we got wheat flour, vegetable oil, salt, curry powder, sugar, MSG. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Caramel color, chili pepper, yeah. uh, more pepper, malic acid, garlic, Excuse me? disodium guanolate, and disodium inosate. I know I have no idea what those are, but I think they're vegan. I think they're just chemicals. Chili pepper extract, celery seed, and mustard. So there we go, boys. 
Vegan. If, if that matters to you. Am I calling everyone girl and you're calling everyone boy? Yeah. And then Fred is going to call everyone dog? Fred, Fred is going to call people things? Yeah. What's Fred going to call anyone? Dog. We've decided. Okay. I have no idea what she's talking about, chat, but uh, I'll just let it, let it stand. Guys, I'm going to have plastic melted into my hands forever. Jesus Christ. I got a little bit on my pinky, too. Oh, how did I smear you with that? I touched it. Remember, I, I did oh, that to myself. Oh, man. But. Can't wait to get cancer. I'm loving this. This is a good dinner. It is. You make fantastic things, Aaron. They all just end up tasting like good. chili umami bombs, though. AKA good. Yeah. That is good food. Fatty chili umami bombs. That would be the title of my cookbook. cookbook. Yeah. Jinx. Ha, ha, ha. Ha 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 Second tray, I didn't put any oil on this tray because this is a delish pan and it is slightly more non-stick than my older, more worn aluminum pans. Just a little bit of salt on these and then we're going to slide them in. My oven is still preheating but I don't really care because my primary goal is to dry these out. I'm going to set a 20 minute timer and that's that. I will be um, washing dishes now, I guess. We're going to move you guys. Fred, you're blocking Fred. You can stand here. Here's a safe spot. What? What? Oh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. She never unjinxed me. She forgot she was going to let me be like that for the rest of my life. Um, let me see. I'm going to bring my laptop over so I don't have to squat in front of the tiny phone to see okay. what people are saying. Do you like eating dinner with our cyber friends? Wow, he just did you guys like that. Damn. Cold hearted. The channel's called June Like the Month. Yeah, not, but they show up for you too, dude. Not Aaron like the whatever that means. Yeah, what does Aaron mean? I think it's, well, it's an old Hebrew Semitic word that I think the original meaning has lost in time. It doesn't matter anymore. Are you done with the scallions? Aaron? Um, Are you done with these? Yes. You guys like the desktop background I gave June for her user account on this? Was the heat spin on? Yeah. Whatever. I think it was a low heat, it doesn't matter. Mm, yeah, stir that up. Did it stuck to the bottom because of that? No. Okay. Crisis averted. What does Aaron do? Uh, be on June's dreams to. Uh, Can I dump this in here her. to get the sauce? Yeah, that's what I do. It's not a llama, Megan. It is not a llama. Come on. I love that Fred is just chilling on his chair, hanging out with his humans. Yeah, what else is he supposed to do? I honestly don't know what cats do all day. We tried to give him a little step to access the uh, window better, but he didn't seem very interested in looking out. Sometimes he does it at night, but I don't, I've run out of ways to entertain him. Most of the time I just pet him. 
and then I stop when he swats me, and that's it. That's the extent. He doesn't really chase things either, so I don't know, guys. Your voice did sound like an animated llama for a while there, Aaron. You mean uh, David Spade and Emperor's New Groove? Is that what I sound like? I like your that's pasta. Literally the only animated llama I know of. I just like straight up pasta. Have as much as you want. I don't think I cooked enough sauce to properly coat everything, mm -mm. so you can have plenty of the pasta. Yeah, we put his toys away before we go to sleep. And last night, at least, I think that didn't help. Aaron? Yes, June? Should we cut the rest of these scallions into your pasta now so they wilt? Sure. Uh, Jay Stewie says, will you say hi to my daughter? Uh, and I don't know how to pronounce this. Deja or Deja? Let me see. Where? Right there. Deja? I'm going to guess Deja's and Deja. De you say Deja, and I'll say, hi, Deja. Yeah. We got both our bases covered. Deja's and Deja Vu. That's, that's fun. Well, hello. Who is your favorite president, June? Uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Who's a pretty badass guy? Trust Buster. A man's man. I'm eating um, Beyond Meat Japanese curry uh, penne. And June Show is, the folks. Yeah. I'm almost done with I'm almost done with my bowl. And June has been cooking sweet potatoes, those are in the oven. And uh, right now she's splicing more scallions into my pasta. Jeff, I don't know about you, but my favorite vice president, Dan Quayle. Vice president? Yeah. You guys think I'm educated enough to know vice presidents, too? Who's the current vice president, June? I was going to say Joe Biden. <laughs> he, he was, yeah. June doesn't know. It's okay. We'll move on. Uh, sweet potato chips. Yeah, I, I think they're going to be like sweet potato chips or something like that. I think June said she was making Like, chips. not very crispy sweet potato chips, guys, because today's just been a rolling dupe of disappointment. Hi, Emily. Please, say, Emily said, please say hi to Emily. Is Emily different than you, Emily? Are there two Emilys? Hello. Erin, can you speak another language? Spanish, very poorly. Chinese, very poorly. And I'm currently learning Arabic to also speak that now very poorly. <laughs> Good job, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be keeping your pasta in the pot? Yeah, I'll store it in there. Seriously, you can have as much pasta as you want. Okay. I'm trying not to trigger my gluten thing. But it is delicious, man. You sure do know how to cook a mean pasta. Yeah, Dan Quill in the famous potato moment. You guys remember? Well, I wasn't even alive for this, but I know about it. So the vice president spelling potato wrong once was a news story for like 10 years. What? And now our news stories like last for 10 minutes. Uh, How did Quill, he spell it wrong? He put, a, he put an E on the end. Potato? Mm -hmm. Well, now we spell potato like patat, so... Mm -hmm. uh, my name in Arabic... Harun, um, I probably, I don't know, I can't write it quite yet, like if you, if I had to handwrite it, but I can type it out on my keyboard by recognizing the letters. That's as far as, uh, you can tell that's as far as I've gotten in Arabic. I am this many years old, Nicole. <clears throat> what? She asked how old I am. I am currently the age that I am. That's how old I am. I'm pretty sure if you Google us, you can find our age. Google knows everything now. It's hor horrifying. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
That was good. I might have some more. Have some more. I'm a hungry boy. Mm-hmm. You're a hungry boy who knows how to make good food. It's been almost 10 years now, Jenny. 10 years what? That we've been together. Oh, has it really been that long? Uh, October of 2011. And it is now... May 2021. May? I don't know. When did you jump ahead? April. I, I straight up, for for a while there, for many months last last year, I straight up couldn't have even told you what month it was probably. That's how, that's how the time and the days were just blending together. Okay guys, time to show you my goodies from King Arthur. Um, here is the proofing basket that they sent me. And unlike traditional proofing baskets, this one is not made of wood. It is made of BPA-free, FDA-safe plastic. It is designed in the USA, made in China, and it is made by Talisman Designs. It is dishwasher safe, washable in order to prevent bacteria. You can create beautiful patterns with the embosser that comes with it. Um, I'm not keeping this because I don't break bread that often and I also have a wooden one so I don't need it but I'm sure somebody else would love to have it and I would love to raise some money for Hunger Free America. I'm also going to be giving this Zatoba Lom. It is absolutely beautiful. It comes in this very golden box um, and it is made in the USA. It has uh, some razor edges that it comes with. Sustainable, fight hunger because portion of the proceeds feed the hungry. I believe you can buy both of these things on the King Author website. Uh, this one is not dishwasher safe, just so you know. It's extremely sharp. Please be careful when using it. And this is what it looks like. It's really beautiful. Solid wood handle. It is a black walnut wood handle and it has this very golden brass edge that holds your razor. Um, it's just really lovely. So I will be putting these two together up for auction soonish when I get my shit together. When will that be, Jim? I mean, I'm hoping tomorrow, but we're also trying to bathe Fred tomorrow and I also still have to clean our house tomorrow, so. I'm gonna have my hands full. Jeff, who are you watching with? You said you had it, we're having a uh, June watch party. They also sent me this updated revised version of the Baker's Companion book. It is a very thick book. It is pretty encyclopedic and it's covered of baking topics. I have yet to break it out of the bubble wrap, but I will just so that I could make a post to show people who will be bidding on it what the inside looks like. It's a beautiful red hard cover with a dust jacket. I don't see a ribbon bookmark. The last edition, I believe, had one, but this one doesn't seem to. Claire asks if proofing bowls are actually necessary or if other bowls will do. Um, What's the purpose of having a special bowl just for proofing? They're absolutely not necessary, but they, um, so when you have a proofing bowl, there are edges, it's called a Benetton, there are edges on that Benetton that you flour and then you plop your bread in there to proof and what happens is when you look at those artisanal loaves, they tend to have that like concentric flour pattern on the outside, so part of it is aesthetic. When you tap the bread out, it'll leave traces of flour and a beautiful pattern. It also holds the shape very well. Um, if you don't use a Benetton basket to proof your bread, what are you using to proof your bread in? If you're using a bowl that isn't quite nonstick, 
you might tear the loaf. It will ruin your surface tension that you've worked very hard to develop. Um, so it's just, a, it's an easier vessel to hold your bread that's proofing in. Cool. And uh, we're bathing Fred because he has ringworm. So we're bathing him with lime sulfur, as one does. Yeah, he really didn't like it last week, so. I don't have a favorite cookbook. I'm not really, I don't really read my cookbooks, unfortunately. Um, you actually can't read it. Susie, so. that's exactly right. And that's why I'm auctioning off a lot of my cookbooks. I think we've auctioned more than 30 now. Um, so going to a lot of great causes that people have been nominating. I love this kind of chain of donation auctions we've been doing. Um, but yeah, if you want to make artisanal looking loaves, benetons, long, they can all help you achieve that aesthetic. How much total have you raised for charity with your auctions, June? I have no idea. Each book went for different amounts. Some books also went for free or a donate what you wish because some viewers wrote in saying, if I don't have funds enough to participate, is there any other way to participate? So I put up some books. Hi, Joy. I put up some books. Um, just for a donate what you wish amount. So I haven't been keeping track of how much money has been donated. Um, I'm not really a fan of numbers. So as long as people are participating and having a great time doing it, that's my point. Are the walks that you document aimless? Sometimes I go with a destination, sometimes they're aimless. Really depends. My brother married a woman with the same name as me. Wow. The same first and last name? That'd be kind of weird. Weird and fun. Joy, I, um, I made, um, Beyond Meat Japanese curry sauce penne pasta, and June has some sweet potatoes in the oven. It's making sweet potato chips. June does pretty long walks. Um, sometimes she'll, well, she often walks from Queens to Brooklyn, like if she's meeting a friend or she has business there. And that's pretty far. Do you know about how many miles? It's not that far. It only takes me like an hour and 30 minutes to get there, so. I guess so, yeah. But back in the day, we used to walk to Manhattan once in a while. I do miss Tom. I Tom still walk amazing. to Manhattan once, once in a while. Tom was probably the sweetest dog I've ever met. So cute. And I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like Fred is a Tom equivalent in cats. He's just very sweet. Um, yep. Lots of love for Tom. Wonderful dog. Wonderful pup. Aaron, have you or June gotten a vaccine yet? I'm, I'm getting a, one Monday. I'm a, I finished my first dose. Dog is God. Yep. It's true. Dog is God. One can only hope that God is dog. That would be the best God ever. You can read off this laptop if you want to hear tell the dishes. As you can see, some of my thinner chips are starting to brown, so I'm gonna start pulling off some of them. Usually when you're baking things, once you start to smell it, that usually means that they're getting cooked. Uh, especially when it comes to like toasting nuts. If you smell the nuts, your nuts are toasted. Time to get them out ASAP. Do you like smelling nuts, too? Stop it. So that was about 20 minutes for the thinnest ones to brown and get really, really, really toasty. The thicker ones will probably take a little bit longer. I'm just going to pull them off as they're done so that they're not burning. 
This is what happens when you don't have a mandolin. They all start cooking at different rates and you're not going to get even goldenness and you're not gonna get even crunchiness. But if you have a mandolin, it is way easier to actually make chips that are chippy rather than just roasty. But if you don't have a mandolin, you get to keep your fingers. Well, debatable. Truly debatable. And sweet potatoes make me bloat a lot. I don't know if other people experience this. So I try my best to not bake them because I feel like baking them makes me bloat even more, but sometimes I just can't resist. Baked sweet potato chips are one of the most delightful things that I love to eat. I'm just shaking them around what remains so that they pick up some of the extra seasoning that's still on the pan, getting evenly coated, spreading them out so that they get evenly heated. And I'm pulling some more ones. You really have to do a judgment call. Sometimes you're like, oh, this one isn't gold enough. Let me pop it back in. And then five minutes later, it's burnt. So you got to do a cost benefit analysis. Is it worth it to get that much more golden? Or will you just settle for a semi flaccid chip? Tonight, I am settling for semi flaccid chips. See, these burned already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there space for me to dry this off? Yes. I do wash cast iron. Yeah, we we wash ours. It's fine. There's people who say don't wash it. There's people that say do wash it. Um, I think Kenji's prescription, Kenji the food god, says uh, that he washes cast iron too. And you know, as long as you don't uh, like strip off the coating, it's fine. And in fact, if you have a proper seasoning on the cast iron, and we do because we've been using this thing for many many years now the seasoning isn't going to come off with just washing it that just means your seasoning is really fragile here are my chips guys they're kind of golden kind of burnt slightly salted some of them have some oil on them some of them don't have some oils on them and uh they won't be as crunchy unless they're burnt until they cool. I'm gonna eat one of the burnt ones so you can hear how crunchy it is. Do you want a burnt chip? Sure. Oh, that's good. You like it? Yeah, can I have an unburnt chip? Yeah. I'll pick my own. That's okay. Actually, that was a good one you suggested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very crunch. They'll harden a little bit and get crispier as they cool. But if you don't want to wait. What are the spices on these, June? Just salt? Salt and pepper on some. Salt this pepper. one has pepper. Mm -hmm. You like? I love it, yeah. Sweet potato chips are good. They remind me of the... Um, have as many as you like. What they have on JetBlue. The terror chips? Yeah. That's basically what they are, I guess. Mmm. Mmm. Can't wait to get bloated. And farty. Bloated and farty. It wouldn't be a June stream without bloating and farting. This one's too dark. I'm going to compost. Can you compost? It's too dark. You like the dark? Yeah, the crunch. Extra crunch. Taro chips are amazing. Also, Kelly, 
Aaron has been smelling my farts for like a decade now. He's used to them. Sometimes when it's especially bad, it's especially bad. Just like any other part of life, you know? What's your opinion on rutabaga, June? I don't know if I've ever cooked with rutabaga. Rutabaga sounds like a fake thing. I don't think that exists. It's a real thing. No, it isn't. You know, I do wonder if I've I I do wonder if I have IBS sometimes. My stomach certainly behaves like it. Ooh, I got crunchers for you here. Nice. I don't think he's begging for more food right now. No. I think he's pretty satisfied with what he yeah. got. When he's begging, he'll come and he'll like rub himself all over our ankles. Mustard green, I don't like stuff like Swiss chard. I don't like it. Krista, I don't take probiotics, no. Yeah, my stomach always bloats whenever I eat sweet potato. But roasted sweet potato is especially bloaty. My friend gave me a crystal once upon a time. What happened to it? Somewhere in my closet. Is it still giving us good vibes all the way from your closet? I mean, hard to say. If it has been giving me good vibes, I don't want to know what my life would have been like without <laughs> it. See, these thicker ones are not really going to get crispy. They're just going to get roasted, unfortunately, because I mean, I could bake them forever until they're fully dehydrated, but it's going to take forever for them to do that. Just don't know if it's worth it, you know? It just makes the textures more interesting. You have some that are chewy, some that are crispy. Yeah. You can look at it that way. Mm -hmm. Kale is the devil. Come on, man. Kale ain't so bad. I used to hate kale. I no longer hate kale. Yeah, kale, kale, kale good. Kale not bad. Kale good. Hello, Marie Ocean Eight from Japan. Holler. My favorite country to travel to. Did you really just pick a favorite country to travel to? I've said that multiple times about Japan. Jeff can also tell you how awesome Japan is for travel. Maybe one day you'll, you'll find out too. I've been to Japan. I don't think so. Wow. What's the most overpriced slash overhyped ingredient? Somebody asked this earlier on a previous stream. Uh, all the overpriced ones are overhyped, guys. Can we? Can I say... Uh, Gold leaf, when people add gold leaf to food. Gold leaf, absolutely. Don't yeah. eat that shit. It's the dumbest thing in the universe. Beet greens are underrated. Do you like beet greens? Beet greens are underrated. You like beet greens a lot more than beets. I like them both. I thought you didn't like beets. I don't I love them, but I like them both. Yeah, truffles are overrated. Basically, if if something has both gold leaf and black truffles on it, then just don't bother. It's literally just exists to be expensive, not to be good food. It's the conspicuous consumption of food. We haven't been to Okinawa, but we'd like to. Do you want the toasty ones? Which is the new batch, this? They're not cool enough yet to be crispy. I'll try it. It still tastes good. Mm -hmm. It's sweet potato. How could it not taste good? Botarga. Is that the uh, tuna paste thing, Botarga? Mm -hmm. I think it is. I think you're right. 
I had a sandwich at, um, uh, yeah, at the roe sack of a fish. The salted cured fish roe. Yeah. Oh, I'm also thinking of, uh, there's some word with an A that's like sold in brick form. It's Italian. Nidu no, no, not A. It's Niduja. Niduja? Yeah. I don't think it's that overpriced, is it? This. Niduja. Italy's funky, spicy, spreadable salume. Yeah, I think I was mixing up Botarga and Niduja in my head. I have no idea how to pronounce this, by the way. <laughs> uh, and I've only had it once. You grate Botarga on top of pasta, and it's awesome. I'm sure it is. Yeah, caviar is overrated. I honestly like salmon roll a lot more than caviar. Do you want any cheese, Aaron? Caviar was very mild. At least the stuff I had. Do you had. want any cheese? Uh, not now. On, oh, Niduja is pronounced Anduya. Anduya? Okay. Thank you, Aaron. Smart, smarter Aaron than me. Fred, you're sitting up. Do you think he wants some cheese? You're right, Kathleen. Cora is better than caviar. You attempted feeding him cheese last night and he wasn't interested. That was mozzarella. It was disgusting. This is a lactose-free probiotic cheese, yogurt cheese. I haven't had Kobe beef. I actually, that would be on my list of overrated foods is steak. I just don't like huge chunks of meat like that. Just, you know, a slab of meat in front of you that you're all supposed to shove down your throat. I think meat is much better as, uh, as June described it, as using it like a condiment. It, it, meat and meat flavors enhance the flavors of food really well. And so just sitting down and eating a giant slab of meat is not for me. But I am very curious about, you know, we've all seen those YouTube videos of like somebody trying a thousand dollar Kobe steak and it looks like just melted butter on the plate. That does look fun to try once maybe. How come Fred doesn't like, oh, he licked it off the chair. Oh. It's, no, it's on the floor. He's went down to look at it and smell it. Why don't you bring the camera over? What do you think, Fred? Do you like it? Do you want me to hand feed it to you again? Cheese, dude. I don't he's a cat. He likes meat. I don't get it. It's delicious. You're definitely not my son. You don't like peanut butter. You don't like bananas. No apples. No cheese. How's his fur feel? Good. I think it's getting better. Yeah, Fred's whiskers are really something. It's the first thing. Old man whiskers. Old man whiskers. That should be his real name. Old man whiskers. Hi, Christy. You're sitting on the cheese, my dude.
smell the cheese? The cheese that you rejected? Do you like staring at the oven? What do you think, Fred? Is it time to say goodnight? Hi, Claire. I'm gonna turn off my oven. I smell the sweet potatoes. They are probably burning. Question escape. Do you balance developing recipes with, uh, how do you balance developing recipes for delish that irritate your food sensitivities? Um, I just deal with it. I try not to develop a lot of stuff that triggers my food sensitivities, but, uh, when I have to do it, I just do it. Okay, I'm gonna go now, June. Okay. Mm. Bye. Have a good night, everyone. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for joining us on our adventures. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi to Fred. And um, wish us luck on the bath time. Peace. And pray for my tripod.